What's up everybody, Casey here again and I am super excited for this video as usual. Now, if you are new to the channel, please, please, please press the like button and subscribe if you are going to love the content that we give here. If you are a returning subscriber, I should say thank you for being a part of the channel. Please continue watching this video and let's get it on. So firstly, let's look at the HomePod Mini real quick. Coming in at $99, the HomePod Mini makes a very very good speaker to have around. Whether it's in your bedroom or in the kitchen, it is stunning. Looking at the design, the HomePod Mini is very small and compact, minimal design to it and I should say the sound is very very nice. So I'll put a link to this video just so that if you missed the review of the HomePod Mini, you can just watch it after the video. In today's video, we have three different speakers. So the first one is the Symphonic, which is a speaker brought to you by a combination of Sanos and ikea i should say this speaker looks amazing it's a combination of the lamp and the speaker and the two have been combined perfectly with a mesh fabric around it the sano speaker is just an amazing thing to have whether it's in the bedroom or in a public area like a sitting room so the symphonic speaker actually makes a very very good speaker to have i mean it's just about 401 millimeters in height it actually comes in two different colors and I actually have the white one right here, but there's also a darker version, which has an amazing look to it. So later on in the video, we are going to play all three of them side by side so that you can just have a perspective of how the sound sounds like. So I have a few pros about the sound speaker, in which the first one is obvious. The sound is amazing. It has a deep bass to it, so it's something that can fill out a room with nice sound. I mean, the speaker is just fantastic to listen to. Looking at the size, we obviously know that one of the pros is going to be how loud it can get. As compared to the HomePod Mini and the Alexa speaker, the Sonos is quite big so definitely it actually spits out loud music. So the other pro I should say is it doesn't really depend on an app as per se but it also has an app that can enable you to do a few adjustments in terms of changing the equalizer and anything else that you can do. So in the app you can actually set an alarm, you can listen to the radio, you can adjust the type of music you want to listen to. It's just an amazing thing to have. So the good thing about it is that it's not highly dependent on the app. So if you don't want to use the app, you may use it without the app. Unlike the Alexa speaker, of course. The other point that I have already mentioned is that the cord is detachable, which is a very, very big advantage. I mean, if anything happens to the cord, you can just simply plug it out and just throw it away and buy a new one. It's as easy as that. The last pro I have for the Seno speaker is that it's also a lamp. I mean, if you put it in a room, you actually have light. Of course, straight out from the box, you are not able to adjust the temperature of the light. But I should say, if you get a smart bulb and fit it in, you should be able to do everything without a problem. I mean, it also somewhat makes it a bit of a smart speaker if you just put a smart bulb in it, that you can also enable just by saying turn on or turn off. So let's talk about the cones real quick. One of the biggest problems I had with this is that it doesn't have Bluetooth. One time we had to move to a new place and we didn't have the Wi-Fi set up at that particular point and I couldn't really use the speaker, which is <laughs> defeats the purpose of the speaker. But so long as you're connected to the same Wi-Fi, you're able to use this speaker very, very well and it shouldn't give you problems, which I should say lack of Bluetooth in this day of age, it's a big no. So the other con that other people might find is the size. I personally like the size, but for other people, the size might be too overwhelming in a room. I mean, it's one speaker that makes an impact one other disadvantage is that it's not a smart speaker. So in comparison to the Alexa speaker and the HomePod mini speaker, it does not really do anything. The only thing it does is play music and you can also just listen to the radio, I guess. But it would have been cool if they had embedded the software that enables you to interact with it. I mean, that would have been just changing. So that's that about the Sano speaker. So next we're going to talk about the Alexa speaker. Let's go. So this speaker is the Amazon Echo Dot 4th generation. I should say it looks really, really beautiful. It has a fabric material covering the top part and a hard plastic shell at the base. I should say they went for a minimal design, but not too minimal as compared to the HomePod mini. So this speaker is actually a smart speaker and I should say it's really, really smart. I had the time to play with it and I should say I just lost it. We went on and on having a good time with it. I mean, check this out. Hey Alexa, drop some bars. Big ups to Grace Hopper, Showstopper, OG Computer. 
computer programmer, Navy battalion commander, went to Yale for mathematics, got a How cool is that? Unlike the Sonos speaker, the Echo Dot uses both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which sets it to a very good advantage. You're able to perform more tasks with the Echo Dot as compared to the Sonos speaker. So let's talk about the pros real quick. The first pro is that it's just about half the amount you're going to spend on the HomePod Mini and like one third of the amount you're going to spend on the Sonos speaker. For a smart speaker, I should say this is very, very impressive. The other pro I have for you, which I found to be so amazing, is that Alexa definitely sounds more alive than Siri. For example, check this out. Hey Alexa, what's the best pickup line? This place must have good Wi-Fi because I'm definitely feeling a connection. Tell me a joke. What did the cow say to the chicken? You seem a little under the feather. You should go recoup. <laughs> hey Siri, what's the best pickup line? Just be yourself. If you have any other pros, make sure you drop them in the comment section so that we can all just read about them and have a good time with it. Now speaking of the cones, the very first cone is that it actually has a weak base. I mean the base is very good as compared to the HomePod, but if you compare it to a speaker like the Sonos speaker, it's not really the best. I mean I enjoy the base quite a lot, but if you put it in a big room, it really struggles. The other weakness about the Echo Dot is that it highly depends on the app. So you actually have to have the Amazon app for you to actually set it up and utilize it. I mean, why do I really have to get an app? Which also forces you to have a subscription running. So if you want to have unlimited music with the Amazon app, you really have to subscribe. Not too much of a big deal because even the HomePod Mini, you really have to subscribe to Apple Music. But we were expecting something different, if you know what I mean. And the other con about it is that it's quite large. For me, it's not really a big problem, but to some people it actually poses as a con because it's larger than the HomePod Mini and it takes up quite some space. So if you're looking for a small speaker, the HomePod Mini is gonna have a huge advantage as compared to the Echo Dot because of the size. But now let's get to some sound testing. For the next part we are going to put them side by side and just try to compare the sound and how deep the bass and of course the other mitty gritty stuff that we can pick out from the comparison so let's go This is just amazing. So you being the judge, you should be able to pick which one of the three actually performed very well. Tell me which one is your preference down in the comment section. I would love to hear about that. And I'll also let you know which one is mine in the comment section. So let's get chatting. If you are a subscriber, I should say thank you for sticking around this far and we still have a long way to go. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you, make sure you hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.